morning everybody. Chef coming at you from the crave. From the cave. Cooper's Cichlids. Chef Coop 69 speaking with you. And uh, just giving a little update. Get ready to drain these. Draining this 40 long. I just sold the door out of day. Well, rehomed the door out of day. To my man on Facebook who got in touch with me. I'm gonna have to downsize with some of my cichlids in order to do what I need to do. I got a festate right there. And I got a little Zell down the bottom. Got a couple armadillos. I see Skip real hard cichlids. Just had his uh, armadillo spawn. And I got two of them back there in breeding dress myself. But I need to separate them. I'm going around doing water changes. One of the tanks is viable right now. Got some dough out down there. A bunch of dough out for for sale. And my redest latest, that's the female right there. The male, he can really come out. They got a spawn, another spawn in there. But these cats right here keep eating them. <laughs> Every spawn they have, they, these little cats right here knock them off. But it's cool because I got enough redest latest, Midas, Jaguar Fry. RTM, I just lost my female RTM this morning. Hey, it's a sad sight, but that's what's happening. I'm draining one of them. Got a pump running to my sub pump. Draining this 150 at the same time. I'm not draining it. I'm doing a water change on it. And I'm just going around. Everybody's doing good. Got some wigglers down here on Skip Smith. Chance, I mean, uh, Skip Smith. Skip Smith. Let me see if I can get past this glare. Still ain't gonna work. I'm sorry, y'all. The glare is killing me. Anyway, Skip Smith. Got some wigglers down there, and these are Skip Smith. Trimax. Sorry for that brain freeze. I was looking at something else. Yeah, they wiggling right now. Let's see if we can get a little close up on them. And this is the pair of uh, Pyro Trimax. I didn't intend for these to make right now. But hey, like Skip say, you know cichlids. I think that's a pair of armadillos up there. I'm watching right now. And I got a nice pair of Trimax right here. I done made it. Well, I done put together. They seem to be getting along pretty good. I'm just going around breaking down tanks ready to start building. I got my, went and bought me a, a, a saw, a, a table saw. That's going to help me out a lot because um, for those of you who do know me, I suffer from alternate nerve damage in my right arm. Hold up one minute, y'all. Got to check this pump down here. It's running out of water. I went to buy me some more of them automatic off and on switches with the remotes. And I uh, couldn't find them. They only come out during Christmas and holidays. So I got to wait till another holiday in order for people to string up probably Halloween. <laughs> when people string up lights, you know. In order to get some more. I should have bought four of them when I started you. But anyway, getting back to the water changes. And the fish, everybody's doing fine. I'm just amazed at these five-star general fry, man. They look like they grow like a quarter inch every day. Every day. Check them out, y'all. Look, look at them big boys right there. One of them just went behind the pot. But look at them. I mean, one behind that sponge truck. He is super big. Look at this one. They are seriously getting big. I know my buddy Will Lujan told me uh, they cannibalized one of the smaller ones. I just ain't have enough time or space to take, you know, wean the big ones out. So, I got my five-star generals up here. They look like they get ready to give me another spawn. I just went and cleaned that 75 out. I figure they should be ready after I put some water back in there. 
But these, I'm, I'll probably get about 10 or 15 out of the, out of here. And it's like three big ones right now, ready to go. I'm, uh, you know, if you wanna, want some of these five star generals, hit me up. They for sale. Yeah, and my umbies, they doing good. They down there. I'm gonna try to make this short as possible. I'm gonna upload this on some new, uh, some new video um, editing program I'm trying out. But uh, that male, he is beautiful. Look at him. I don't know if y'all can get the reds and the blues he got coming into him, but oh boy, he is on fire. He is beautiful. And then fry. These two, from what I understand, from Magnus and Beast. If y'all want some of these fry, hit me up, man. I got a good fit in there, easy. And they, uh, they about a quarter inch right now. I guess I'll let them, I, I guess I'll hold up on them. Let them get a little bigger before I start selling them. But they growing, they growing fast. They growing real fast. Oh. You know, anything hit the top of this water, they on it. That's a little bit of flakes. This is my 90 gallon with my line eyes. Lines eye. That got them umbies from Umbi Cane, them wild court, real clabos. I'm thinking that one with the black and her dorsal fin. And the dorsal right there, it could be a female. But uh, I had to go to him, to the experts, to find that out. One got black and a dorsal friend and one don't. But they waiting to eat. I ain't fed them, haven't fed them yet. Let me drop some food in there and watch them go nuts. Got a feline there from Feste. Got some Argenti in there. Got some VI in there, Bedora, got a pair of Bedora in there, Lexi Blue Jack Dempsey's. I got my Bedora and my, uh, uh, they squaring off, look at them. And that's the male right there, the male wild caught Humby. And my Bedora, male Bedora. Uh, Friday night fights, y'all. Look at it. Now he's squaring off with the other one. Oh, that go, uh, I think that's a try man right there from uh, Freddy. And they go all the fry over here. I want to see a feed frenzy on this side. Watch this. Watch this. Talk about a feed frenzy. Let me take you up front where my jags at. I ain't trying to make this long. I ain't showcase this one. There go another one of my tanks right here. I'm ready to separate these when I this tank a little dirty. I got my, I got a bunch in here. Everybody getting big. Bar red devils in here, F1 Midas. Got a little bit of everything in there. All these for sale. Everything in here for sale. All right, last but not least, my Jaguars. Gotta get these in a bigger tank. Look at that guard right there. He's about eight inches long. He the only one they allow on that side with that front. I got two more Jags over here and two more, two Jag Dempsey's. Let's go over here, take you on this side. 
And you can see the Jags with their fry. It's free swimming. Mom and Papa right there. Beautiful pair there. And I'm going to let y'all go on this note. All oh, these tanks I got broken down over here. Get right at that 40 long and 20 over here so I can get things right. I'm draining that one in the back to my sump. Got my, my tube in here. Got that running to my sump. Then I'm using my, my Python to drain my 150. All right, that's about it, y'all. I appreciate all my subscribers, man. I really appreciate y'all, man. I just wanted to uh, tell y'all that, too. I'm almost up to 500 subs, man. I got a, I got a 10 gallon back there, right? And I got some Demerson, Valley Union Demerson. I can't never pronounce it. And they got fry. When I was at the Chicago Fry Swap Me, this dude sold them to me as a rare cichlids. We gonna get up close and personal with them in another video. There you go. That's the mother and father there. You can barely see the fry swimming around in there. But like I say, that's another video in my fest day tank. All right, from the chef in the cave to all of y'all out there, keep your sleeves wet. As my boy E-Money say in New York, squad up, love is love, peace.